Today we will be talking about Mike and Natalie's relationship on 90 Day Fiancé. And we will provide an update on Mike's life following their breakup. Mike and Natalie showcased a tumultuous relationship on 90 Day Fiancé. The couple met through mutual friends, as Natalie's best friend married Mike's best friend. And they asked Mike and Natalie to be godparents to their child. She uh, calls me Bubichka, and I call her my unicorn angel, my little honey and stuff, my honeybee and stuff like that. It all started about two years ago. My best friend, Matt, got engaged and met a girl from Kiev, Ukraine. Natalie is her best friend, and they ended up getting married, and she came over here, and they had a child. My best friend, Sveta, when she saw Mike, she wanted to introduce me to him. So we practically met through our best friends. I mean, we just hit it off immediately, and she's just amazing to me. Uh, she's just so smart and intellectual. That's why I call her my unicorn. And my friend Lana, who is already in America, and I love her. I will be very happy to see her at my wedding. She will have me to choose the dress. <laughs> Mike traveled to meet Natalie, and they had a romantic engagement in Paris, France. He applied for Natalie's K-1 visa prior to the show's filming. The couple's first appearance on 90 Day Fiancé was on season 7 in 2019, when Mike traveled to Kyiv, Ukraine to spend some time with Natalie while her K-1 visa was processing. The viewers found out that Mike and Natalie were complete opposites. Mike was an atheist meat-eater who believed in aliens, while Natalie is an avid Christian who doesn't eat meat. Natalie was also concerned about having children as soon as possible. While Mike was not financially ready for this due to his debt, Mike and Natalie's relationship during his trip to Ukraine reached a boiling point when Natalie confessed on camera that she couldn't say she loved Mike. She also infamously threw Mike's engagement ring. After season 7 of 90 Day Fiancé, Mike and Natalie appeared on season 8 as well. During the season's premiere, Mike and Natalie received the news that they had been waiting for. Her K-1 visa was finally approved. Even though the relationship was still on the rocks, they decided to give it one last try and use the 90 days leading up to their wedding day as the extra time they needed to work through their problems. While Mike agreed to proceed with Natalie's K-1 visa during their 90 days, he was reluctant to confirm that they're going to get married. The couple continued to fight as Natalie struggled to adjust to living on a farm in a small town of Sklim, Washington, after living in the capital city of Ukraine. Natalie felt lonely as Mike was working a lot, and he was commuting 4 plus hours a day to and from his workplace in Seattle. I couldn't do anything, and I went crazy in the food. I am a branch manager at a construction supply company in Seattle and my commute was I got up at 3 a.m. and I left the house by 3.45 and the ferries are just packed. You'd wait to be in line for three hours. I wouldn't get home until about 8 or 9 o'clock. As Natalie's time on a visa was coming to an end, Mike confirmed that they are going to get married. But on their wedding day, Mike changed his mind and said he couldn't do it. Natalie was distraught and planned on traveling back to Ukraine during the height of the pandemic, but ultimately they made up and the couple got married on the last day of Natalie's visa. According to online records, they got married in Washington state on April 15, 2020. Mike is Natalie's third husband, while she is his second wife. Unfortunately, it wasn't all wedded bliss for the couple. By the time they returned on 90 Day Fiancé on season 6 of Happily Ever After, they have been experiencing multiple marital problems. Their scenes appear to be filmed in the fall of 2020, and a big turning point took place when they were celebrating Thanksgiving with Mike's mom, Trish. Ultimately, the couple separated on Christmas Eve 2020, when Natalie left to stay with her friend, Julia, in Seattle. Interestingly, the couple broke up by the time they were filming for 90 Day Fiancé season 8 total episode in February of 2021. Yet, they had to pretend that they're still together. Natalie spent a few months at her friends in Seattle before making a big move across the country to Florida. Natalie moved on to date on 90 Day The Single Life spin-off, while still being legally married to Mike. On the second season of that show, she dated the modeling agency CEO, Josh. 
When it comes to Mike's relationship status, some women claimed that Mike was romantically talking to them back in December of 2020. Since then, Mike sparked dating rumors with reality TV alum Marcia Brazil Alves. The Beach One star took to Instagram with photos of them spending time together in Las Vegas in September of 2021. During the tell-all episode for 90 Day The Single Life Season 2, Mike confirmed that they were just friends. Was dating yes. someone? But if he says no, I, I don't know. You said you found out from somebody yes, that he wasn't, and, I even and then you've even seen them. her picture. Yes. There were pictures on the internet of him also. No, I'm not dating no one. I'm not dating at all. So who are the pictures that we were seeing? <laughs> uh, when I uh, met uh, with a uh, friend and uh, uh, we hung out and stuff. At the tell -all, Mike told Natalie that he never filed for her adjustment of status in the United States, hence she is at risk of being deported. He also shared that he actually moved to Seattle, which is what Natalie wanted them to do when they were still together. Because we were discussing many times, like, I was begging him, please, let's move to Seattle, please. But we never made it. He never moved. In January this year, it was reported that Mike has not yet filed for divorce from Natalie. She was recently spotted filming in Los Angeles, which might confirm that she will appear on 90 Day The Single Life Season 3, possibly with Josh. We spoke about Natalie's legal status in the United States in one of our previous videos, which you can watch following the link down below. On 90 Day Diaries Season 3, Mike revealed he lives in Seattle from Monday to Thursday, and he travels back to the ranch in Squim for the weekend. Shockingly, his mom moved in with him. Mike's mom Trish asked him if he was ready to date someone despite not being fully divorced, and he responded that he needs to wait before making another commitment. Trish also asked her son if he thinks that Natalie was scamming him. I know you don't want to think that way, but it, it's, that's what it looks like, right? Putting herself in such a kind, sweet, Christian woman. Well, she's not. She's a scam in life, and I was smitten. As far as I'm concerned, but that's just my opinion. That's your opinion, you know? Yeah, I mean, she has done me bad, and I do feel like But I mean, I always have good memories of that. Well, Mike confirmed that he is going to divorce Natalie. On 90 Day Happily Ever After, as well as on 90 Day The Single Life and on 90 Day Diaries, it is not exactly clear as to why he hasn't proceeded with the divorce yet. On 90 Day Diaries, it was explained that this might have something to do with Natalie's immigration status. I don't know what her immigration status is, but if filing for divorce suddenly means that she's only got six months left in the country, she may like totally duck out on you and try to, you know, try to get out of having the divorce be processed. I don't think it would be overly shocking for her, but... I, I think the only spot that you can have trouble is if she just doesn't want to deal with this. I will definitely probably reach out to her and just say, hey, look, like, I want to file for divorce, you know? Mike mentioned that following his breakup, he wants to change his life and get back in shape. Mike recently shared that he made a decision to go to the UK on a whim. Mike plans to spend some time in the country on a backpacking trip. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Big Mike here. I know it's been a while since I checked in with y'all. Uh, you know, just keep living the best life. Uh, I want to spread that, uh, spread the words there. Uh, I just decided last week on a whim. Uh, today I'm going to jump on a plane and fly to London. Uh, too many things I want to see in this world, and I don't want to hold anything back. I want to keep living the best life, and uh, I would like for everyone else to do the same, you know. If uh, you want to go somewhere, go do it, you know. Don't hold anything back. It's better to live life than to say, I wish I would have. And uh, right now I'm in the Seattle airport getting ready to head out. I uh, can't wait. If there's anyone uh, over there that can give me some information or any fans or anything, can tell me where to go while I'm over there, a place to see, I'll be over there for five days. Uh, give me a message. Uh, lots of love to everyone. It looks like despite being single, Mike is living his best life and exploring the world. 
Do you find it strange that Mike is yet to file for divorce from Natalie? Please let me know in the comments. As always, please consider liking this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching.